Oxygen during surgery had more of an effect than we feared. And... We, we interrupt your viewing to bring you this breaking news. Guys, fresh off the press, breaking news, fresh product, straight in high skin. This is the one you're gonna be wanting to get, guys. ESP Extreme K, tell them what we know. We know that it's got 750 milligrams of caffeine, one of the highest on the market. We're not sure if the public are ready for this yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hello guys and welcome back to yet another episode with us, The Review Bros, and it is Boxing Day here and we are proud to present yet another pre-workout review for you guys. And it's quite a hyped one, it is ESP Extreme by Metabolic Nutrition. You know, we're really excited to give this a go and we hope you are too. So stay tuned for all the sections in this review. It's a scary one and please do be legends as usual and subscribe and hit the like button and comment. Cheers guys. Thank you. It's flavour time guys, so let's let you know what flavours it comes in. Fruit punch, blue raspberry. Green apple and watermelon. We have the blue raspberry one, so um, as always we're doing the free scoops or the maximum dosage. Um, so we're going to be testing it, running it on that. And we've worked out that a flat scoop gets you to 5.5 grams, which is... A dead flat scoop. Yeah, please don't free heap scoop it because you'll end up getting 900 milligrams of caffeine. Yeah, this is 750 guys at free flat scoops. Jesus. I must admit, high caffeine like that scares me more than DMHA and DMAA. In I don't a, know why. Really? It just does. Does it for you? Yeah. In a transparent <laughs> label, guys, that is the highest <laughs> amount of caffeine we've ever had. Oh, yeah. In a transparent label. But per one scoop, Hooligan still remains the highest. Yeah. This one, you have to do three of them, so. Yeah. Let's do it. <coughs> I'm scared. Very blue raspberry smell. Bit of froth. Mixed right though, isn't it? Yeah, not bad at all. Do we need more water or not really? Probably a little bit more water for three scoops, but... Let's see how it goes. Blue raspberry. Nice. Sour. Strong. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Mm. three scoops is a lot though, guys, and you're looking yeah. at like taking a lot of water, so that's why I didn't put loads in. Mm. That's nice, though. It's different to your typical boring blue raz, I'd say. Mm. It's got a funny it's got a taste to it. it. Mm. Yeah, bit of a bitter, spicy almost aftertaste. It's hard. Mm. Yeah, it's a tart, it's a slag. Yeah, I'd probably give it like a, like a 7 out of 10. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah. 7. That's fair. Mixed perfectly, minimal frothing. Taste is quite unique for a blue raz. 7. 7. Okay, guys, we're going to move into the price of the product. And what we want to say is we are in talks with Metabolic Nutrition right now. So, for updates on uh, new information that comes after we film this section, check the description below. Definitely recommend that. Go on, tell them. So you can pick this up at metabolicnutrition.com. 15% pop-up code comes up. We actually have to fill in with your email address, complete their form, and you get 15% off well your first it. order. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, why would you not? And that gets the price to $30.60, which translates to £23.51. And when you do max serve, it is 16.6 .6 servings. Yeah, which is uh, a bit down because 16.6 .6 servings, obviously you're running it at 16 in that three scoops. Yeah. And then that last 17th day, you'll be doing a two scooper. So bear that in mind. And in fact, on this one occasion, we're gonna recommend that two scoops is probably good because yeah. you're still getting a huge amount of caffeine and other ingredients. But again, we'll have to leave this all in the effects and the label section. So stay tuned, it's a bit out there, this review. Yeah, um, definitely. What we'll say though, guys, is we're still gonna keep the scoring on that max serving because that is the way we have to do it to stay consistent. Absolutely. Only fair. UK guys, you're asking how much, so with that 15% off, you'll be getting this tub for £23.51, which is a great start price if you think about it like that. Yeah. Um, it actually works out to be a pound and 41 per serving, per three scoops. 
um, which actually works out at a 6 out of 10. So it's actually not that bad. Yeah, considering that's three scoops. What we'll say, we've done the quick maths on the two scoops as well. You get 25 servings a tub on two scoops. That's our recommendation. It moves that price score actually up to an 8 out of 10. Yeah. So it really isn't bad. And also, guys, the website is often popping things up such as free shipping codes, which is on there right now for the rest of this month, this month being December. So if it's something you're interested in, then now would be the time to go ahead and get it because you're going to get free shipping as well. Well worth it. Um, yeah, but obviously for the consistency uh, sake of these reviews, we have to do it by full serves. And that's a 6 out of 10. So, uh, yeah, check the description though, guys, again. Okay, guys, it is that label time. Three scoops, 16.5 grams. Take a seat and strap up because it's a powerful one. So the first matrix is the extreme B vitamin and electrolyte matrix, all consisting of pretty self-explanatory, healthiness, energy production Function, functions. body functions. Yeah, so we're not going to delve into that, but we are going to delve into the extreme energy matrix consisting of 1,068 milligrams. Boom. First up, caffeine and hydra, 600 milligrams. That is a huge dose, guys. Beginners, stay away from this dose. <laughs> 600 milligrams is like six cups of coffee, a good three to four cans of energy drink. You know, this is powerful stuff, guys. Um, that is the main stimulant in the pre-workout world these days. And that is one of the biggest doses we've ever seen in a, in a dose, in a single serve. Rest in peace. Next up, theobromine, 300 milligrams. Again, huge, huge dose, guys. Definitely hitting up clinical levels and beyond. That's the ingredient dogs can't digest in chocolate. Fun fact right there. <laughs> and what I will say is that's a mood elevating ingredient as well as some energy. Yeah. Then we have decaffeine malate at 168 milligrams. Huge dose again, guys. That's the uh, slower digesting form of caffeine. So when the caffeine anhydrous starts to taper off, this will start taking its place. So it's an anti-crash and you need that with 600 milligrams beforehand. Great stuff. And just FYI, we are yielding 150 milligrams of actual caffeine from that. 750 milligrams total caffeine, guys. Jesus. Yeah, yeah you heard that right, 750. <laughs> And then we move into the extreme mental matrix, consisting of 2,901 milligrams. First up, choline bitartrate at 2,001 milligrams. That is probably, that is the biggest dose we've ever seen again, guys. That's responsible for, um, you know, cognitive benefits, you know, brain power, focus, concentration and the like. But yeah, that is a huge dose, guys. Pairing with that is N-acetyl L-tyrosine, 600 milligrams. That is a more bioavailable form of L-tyrosine, which is the amino acid, again, responsible for focus and concentration. You know, these two ingredients are really gonna get you in the zone. Good stuff. Respectable dose. Yeah. Next up, Ereagerensis 300 milligrams. That is a powerful stimulant, guys, a central nervous one at that, and it does help with cognitive ability as well. So again, more focus, more stim, powerful ingredient. That's dubbed the natural version of DMHA. Wow. And then the last matrix is the extreme absorption matrix, 5,016 milligrams. Uh, first up, beta alanine, 5,001 milligrams. Huge dose, guys. 3.2 grams is clinical dose. 5 grams is going to get you tingling to beyond. You know, that's the uh, obviously the ingredient that gets you that itchy, tingly, almost allergic feeling reaction. At five grams, you're gonna seriously be itching your eyeballs out. We like it for its placebo effect that it, it gets you ready for the gym. You know when that pre-workout's kicking in. And obviously when you start to build up the levels in the body, it will help with muscular endurance, you know, lactic acid prevention, buffering um, ingredient. Great stuff and a hefty dose of that. Well, we. And then we've got black pepper extract at 15 milligrams. Again, a huge dose, guys. That's just gonna help digest the ingredients mentioned beforehand, make it most uh, bioavailable in the body. So great stuff, and you're gonna need it with dosages like that. And that would explain the almost spicy aftertaste of the drink at yeah. that dose. You normally only see five to 10, so 15 really is pushing it. And what so me and Aaron ESP, have discussed is it, it seems like this was designed hour? at two well, scoops, that's what we want but then they thought, guys hell with it, the most let's let them do three if they want. And yeah, the guys, the that is huge dosage. Um, you team. really are probably hitting clinical doses at the two scoops because you're still getting a good 3.4 grams of betralanine. You know, we're going to chuck the label up on the screen anyway, so do have a read for it, but yeah, we're excited for this one. 
it is very strong on the stomach, so it does give you that slightly sick feeling, like you you know you've ingested so much caffeine, so like yeah. the body really does try and fight it. You, get you can feel it like, yeah, the windpipe sort of goes dry. <laughs> yeah. You can like feel something, you can just feel something there the whole time. It feels like your body's got too much energy that it can't deal with it, so you're sort of like a step ahead of yourself. You're like, oh, yeah, well, seven, 750 total yielding caffeine is crazy. is crazy high. In fact, it's the highest we've seen in a transparent label. And it forced us through a heavy, high volume, intense leg day, as you see in the label section. Yeah, and it kept strong though. There's no denying yeah. there wasn't any crash at the end. The decaffeine malate obviously did its job, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the thirstiness was crazy. Yeah, and the interesting fact here, and Aaron actually brought this to our attention in training yesterday, is that it's got mood elevating ingredients in this, such as ereodurensis, uh, choline bitartrate, theobromine, but it's an angry pre workout Yeah, I did feel angry on the stuff. On free scoops, at least, anyway. You're sort of like, I can get stuff done, come on. Yeah, move out of the way, people. Yeah. Like, just get, yeah. It's a strong one and the stim is very strong. I will definitely say that three scoops is for stim junkies. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Two scoops would be the sweet spot, I reckon, for That's anyone. The, yeah, two scoops is the productive, make gains, healthy option. Yeah. Three scoops Even though is that's still for 500 yeah. caffeine or so. Yeah. But yeah, it, guys, it's heavy stim. You definitely feel like it's too much almost for the body to digest. Um, and yeah, you are angry on the stuff. So yeah. we do have a, we, and obviously there's no pumps, guys. Yeah, there isn't even a pump matrix in it, nor does it claim pumps. It claims endurance, though. Yeah, so it's going to lose a point straight away for no pumps. Um, yeah. That's obviously one of the factors we at least look for in a pre-workout. Um, you do kind of work yourself into that pump, there's no denying it, but they are a bit harder to get than obviously something with pump ingredients in it. Yeah, it's not, not even, even got citrulline. citrulline. No. 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 That's where you know you've got a stim junkie pre-workout, and that's what it's for. So if energy is the thing you're mainly primarily focused on, this would be a very suitable candidate for you. Which is why it was good for leg day, because you don't really want the biggest pump on legs. It gets too painful. Yeah, it, it does. It slows you down almost. Yeah. Um, so I, I'd come to an overall score of sort of probably like an 8 to a 9 out of 10. I probably would push it on that 9 out of 10. Yeah. That's losing out that point really for sickness and lack for of pumps. lack of pumps. But we argued that even a two scoop would still be, you know, a good eight potentially. Yeah, I reckon two scoops is, is a sweet spot. Yeah. I really do. And then you up your servings to what? From uh, 16 25. to 25, yeah. Yeah, which so, it makes most sense. And you're still getting, coming on 500 caffeine for two scoops, so it's still high stim at two scoops. Yeah. And it obviously gets you more money. So uh, that's our thoughts and feelings. Nine out of ten? Yeah. We're yeah. happy with that. Yeah. Stim Solid junkie. pre workout and for the price as well. It's really not bad. Yeah. Stim junkie heaven. Final verdict on ESP Extreme by Metabolic Nutrition. Obviously, a big thank you to them for sending it down. Um, we've got the t shirt on. You know, it's a nice t shirt as well. So that's a thumbs up from us straight away. Yeah. Nice leg day. Tom. Yeah. <laughs> Moving into the um, into the segments as we went through them in the review, and as always, guys, we do recommend checking back through those sections to see how and why we scored them as we did. This is just a quick round off, just to give an overall score and to see whether it's right for you or not. So, starting off with the taste in blue raspberry, we gave that a. We landed on the seven out of ten. It was a bit more unique than your average boring blue ras, but it did have a bit of a bitter, spicy aftertaste. Yeah, a bit strange. Not right. not bad. Doable. Yeah. Moving then into the price of the product, and it's important again to note this is on the full maximum dosage, which is probably not what we recommend overall. Yeah, which but, we landed on a 6 out of 10, but an 8 out of 10 if you two scoop it, but we must go for 6 out of 10 yep. on the three scoops. Yep. And finally, the most important part of the review, the effects. How did we feel this pre-workout? We gave it a... 9 out of 10, slight, only coming down on the lack of pumps, and the slight overstimulated, sicky... Feet. Almost too much for the body to handle. It's high stim, very powerful stuff. Like, like Dragon Ball Z over 9,000. Like, oh. Yeah, gets you <laughs> to that 10,000. Yeah. <laughs> that gives us an overall score for the product of... 22 out of 30, right? Yeah, not bad at all. And in fact, they are very, very versatile scores. You know, you juggle around with those servings, it gives you a whole panel of ways to take it. So it really is one of those ones you can juggle things around and and ta uh, taper that score to how you want it, or yeah, tailor exactly. that score. that's the one. Uh, so a great, great product from Metabolic Nutrition. We really do enjoy it for a stim day that doesn't care too much for the pumps. Yeah. 
especially as it's not got DMA or DMHA, it is a powerful pre-workout for what it is. Two scoops, again, is probably our sweet spot recommendation, but if you do decide to get it, juggle it and let us know. 22 out of 30, well done. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you did enjoy the review. We wanna know your thoughts on this product down in the comments section. Yeah, write them down and let us know what else you want us to get reviewed for you guys. You know, we've got so much more in the books um, and we're really enjoying this, so um, we hope you are too. That These are always gonna be 100% honest. Oh yeah. Despite me wearing the t-shirt, we're not sponsored or endorsed by any company whatsoever. Yeah. Otherwise we'd be giving it a 10 out of 10 across the board. Yeah, we? exactly. These are just honest scores and we think everyone who's used this product probably agree with us on yeah. them. So, um, you know, thank you again, guys. And as always, stay stimmed. And you will. Powerful. <laughs>